Hello and welcome to Bob's Programming Academy. In this video, we present a cryptocurrency dashboard app built using React, Material UI, and Chart.js. The app uses the CoinGecko API to get cryptocurrency data such as live prices, trading volume, exchange volumes, historical data, crypto categories, images, and more. The CoinGecko API is a very comprehensive API powered by the world's largest independent crypto data aggregator. Through the CoinGecko API, we get access to over 13,000 cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP tracked across over 500 crypto exchanges. We also get access to comprehensive historical data across all cryptocurrency categories. The CoinGecko API is a free and publicly available crypto API. There are no API keys required. The CoinGecko free API has a rate limit of 50 calls per minute. If you need more, you can check out their paid plans. However, if up to 50 calls per minute is all you need, the free plan should be sufficient. Just remember that if you are going to use the CoinGecko API, Attribution is required so that you can give credit to CoinGecko for providing you with the cryptocurrency data. We do it here in the footer where we say data provided by CoinGecko. This is what the cryptocurrency dashboard app looks like. At the very top here we have a header. Below the header we have the statistics section. In this section, we can find today's date and the number of categories, exchanges, asset platforms, and market indexes currently available through the CoinGecko free API. Next, we have a table showing cryptocurrency market data, an image, name, symbol, current price, price change percentage within the last 24 hours, volume, and market capitalization. The table is paginated. We can also search for the cryptocurrency we are interested in. Next, we have a bar chart displaying the top 10 most expensive cryptocurrencies measured by their market price. Next, we have a pie chart showing the top three cryptocurrencies measured by their total volume. Next, we have a polar area chart displaying the top three cryptocurrencies measured by their market cap. Next, we have a donut chart showing the top five cheapest cryptocurrencies above $100 measured by their market price. Next, we have a line chart displaying the top 5 cryptocurrencies measured by their all-time low, which is the lowest point in price and market capitalization that the cryptocurrency has been in history. Next, we have an area chart displaying the top 10 cryptocurrencies measured by their all-time high, which is the highest point in price and market capitalization that the cryptocurrency has been in history. This cryptocurrency dashboard app has two color themes, so we can switch it from dark mode to light mode and essentially change the theme on the fly. To change the color theme from dark to light, click on the sun icon in the header section of the page. To switch from light to dark, click on the moon icon. This cryptocurrency dashboard app is fully responsive and it looks great on devices of all sizes. 
This is what the project looks like on an iPhone 12 Pro. This is an iPad mini. This is what the project looks like on a Nest Hub Max. To get access to this project, go to the project's GitHub repository. You can find the link in the description section below. Next, click the download zip button to download the code. Once you have downloaded and unzipped the project, open it in Visual Studio Code or some other code editor of your choice. Before we start, make sure that you have all the prerequisites installed on your machine. The prerequisites for this project are Node.js and Visual Studio Code. Alternatively, you can use some other code editor. First, install all the required dependencies. To do that, open the terminal and from the root directory run npm install. To start the application from the root directory run npm start. This command starts the development server. Go to HTTP localhost port 3000 to view the application. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. It really helps with the algorithm to get our videos out there to more and more people so that we can continue making them. We really appreciate it. Also, you can leave a comment below on what you would like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.